I just drank a little bit of my grandmother out of morbid curiosity. I think Reddit will have a kick with this. My mama passed away years ago when I was 12 and hit me severely in the gut with unresolved grief and depression. She has been cremated and my mom left me the responsibility to keep her urn in my room. I've since made her a shrine in her memory. My mom has now moved into a new place now lives across the states and I'm planning to visit her in the next week. She requested I bring some of Mama to spread her ashes in the river nearby her new house. Usually she likes to do this when we find a new place or a beach to take a little bit of someone we held close to our memory. Now, this is the first time I've touched the urn. It's never been opened since her cremation. I and my mother are very spiritual people and I have the irrational fear that touching the urn somehow will cause some form of hex or misjudgment on my part so I've never touched it. But I cannot take the entire thing with me so I opened it and poured some into a tightly closed jar to take with on the trip. In order to get the ashes out, I used a smaller measuring cup to accurately get a portion out of the container. With this, a film of residue was left in the smaller jar. In my extremely emotional, vulnerable state and morbid curiosity. When I went to wash out the small jar, I took a few sips from the murky water. I've since put the urn back in its place and refused to look in my mama's direction. I feel so conflicted. This grief is coming back and now I feel a heavy sense of guilt and weight. Like a children who accidentally broke a vase. I'm not sure if I'm overreacting or I truly just did something back. Parts of me wish I never did this and told my mom I couldn't promise her wish. The other part of me is conflicted with the immoral action that I committed a meager act of cannibalism. If it's even considered to be that anymore, I'm lost, confused, and now thrown back into a state of grief as if a part of my very dead mama has risen from the dead and has come back to haunt me for this stupid action. If you died and your weird AF grandchild started eating your ashes, would you be mad and like haunt them? This is a lot to process at 8 in the morning NGL. This was an episode of my strange addiction. The woman keep eating her husband's ashes out of the urn. That's enough internet today. I will log off right now. And your mama ghost is looking at you like what the fuck, child. What the actual fuck? Did you watch South Park before this? This reminds me of that movie where the guy eats his grandfather's AHES and all his dad inheritance. Employee loyalty went to him because they recognized the ash eater as his grandfather. Doubt I explained it well but yeah. I got like two hours of sleep last night, commenting to prove to myself later that this is real and I haven't just fallen asleep at my desk. You drank a little calcium phosphate and some other minerals. Maybe looking at the contents for what they are, instead of who they were a part of, can ease your mind a bit. All DNA has been destroyed in the process. So one can argue that you did not actually drink a little bit of your mamma. Maybe confiding in a trusted third party can ease your mind a bit. You're not a bad person for doing this. You were a curious 12-year-old. Try to give yourself a bit of grace. Edit I didn't mean looking at the contents literally. Don't look at the cremains if that'll cause distress. Reminds me of Cartman drinking Kenny thinking he was Nesquik and you're looking to amuse yourself. With the situation I'd have a look for the episode. Hey at least she is a part of you now. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-
Op, it sounds like you've dealt with some tough stuff if your life. You've mentioned that you had mental health issues as a child that were never addressed. Please find a good therapist to help you work through these issues. It will make a world of difference. I don't understand how you went from being too spiritual to touch the urn because hex maybe? To full on eating mama. Did it taste like? Doing something illogical in a moment of emotion is understandable and I am sure your grandmother would understand that. We as humans do odd things while dealing with grief what you did is odd but it is okay just move on from it and be kind to yourself. It's weird as hell but I doubt your grandma's gonna stick around to just haunt you when she could be in some paradise somewhere else. It kept getting worse. I just had to open Reddit and see this SMH. This is what religion does to a MF. Humans are the worst thing to ever happen to this beautiful universe. This is fucked up. Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones snorted his dad's ashes. I don't think drinking ash residue is that bad in comparison. Maybe you should look into some grief counseling if you are still this upset about it after so many years. I know everybody grieves differently but it seems like it still really affects you. Op obviously feels conflicted and confused so stop making it even harder for them. What you did was not right but also you weren't thinking rationally. You cannot take back your actions but you know not to do it again. I won't lie this sort of behavior isn't deemed appropriate to begin with and I feel like you should seek help for yourself and so you can talk to a professional about this. Don't beat yourself up too much please. I know you feel guilty as it is. It's the gaslighting of cremated remains not being technically cannibalism that does it for me skull. What I'm the cinnamon toast fuck did I just read? S he's got a lil mima and he are now. Jesus Christ I think I need counseling after reading that rolling on the floor laughing. WTF did I just read? I DK about grief, but what the shit? Left finger paper. Sounds like you gave in to an intrusive thought. I don't like to jump straight to counseling but it sounds like you still have unresolved grief from your mama passing away. It may help you to have someone professional to talk to. Ah honey. No. There are some things that should never be said aloud told to others even anonymously. This is one of those things. So you are very spiritual and have the fear that touching the urn will cause a hex or something but drinking some of the ashes is fine? Right. You're fiend. Grief is weird. Guilt is so unnecessary and counterproductive. Especially when grief is involved. So let it go. If you believe in an afterlife where ya grandma is aware of your grieving process. She would be in a realm of complete judgment-free understanding. I think she'd want you to stop beating yourself up over it and that's that. I've heard in some cultures they do eat their dead. Lol mama. Some of y'all are crazy nasty. This is disgusting. I feel really bad about how many people say this is weird or fucked up. Maybe it's weird but I'm weird with you. When my dad died and was cremated. My uncle and I had his ashes all over our hands and felt like it would be kind of disrespectful to. Wash him down the sink. So we rolled a couple joints. Smoked them and ate McDonald's until our hands weren't dusty anymore. Maybe it's kind of fucked up I dunno. But grief is weird and it felt more right than not doing it. Totally harmless to everyone involved so no problem. Excuse me, you did what? I hope you're doing okay. What you did was stupid. But it happened. You can't spit her out. I'm sure Mima has better stuff to do than haunt you for a dumb mistake. If it were my ashes. I'd find it kind of funny. Please don't beat yourself up. Try to talk to someone if you feel like you need to.